Hey guys, it's Nate, and this is a game called Candles. It's um, it's a little indie horror game, and I'm pretty sure it's made on the Unity engine. But since I don't know anything else about it, I shouldn't keep talking. So let's just go ahead and get into the game, and you can find out for yourselves. Easier that way. Okay. Well, I've just dropped off on a path in the middle of nowhere. A dead end, actually. With some conveniently placed random torches. That's always nice. Some, um... I guess are these, are, are these the candles that'll be lighting my way? To, um... To finishing the game in a... In a proper amount of time? No? Or are these, are these just regular old candles? Conveniently lit lamps? This is the way, right? Or did I just go... I just went backwards, okay, I'm sorry. Now I feel stupid. Okay. Okay, let's let's walk like normal human beings. Let's let's navigate like we have half of our brains working. I'm sorry guys, it is it is pretty late at night. I didn't actually plan to do videos today. And I'm I'm kind of really really kind of tired if you can tell by these. So um I also got a little bit of headache going on. So um if I'm not as not as bright as as I usually am, that, that could be the reason. So I'm just going to lower the volume a little bit. Hey look, cute little, uh, cute little shack we got going on here. I don't, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Can we open up the door? Can we go up the stairs? No, oh okay. Random note that I peeled off the door that wasn't already there, but whatever. Okay. <clears throat> While you've been away, your basement generator must have run out of fuel, thus your house has been overrun with the dark-loving night imps. Let's scour these parts of the coastline. As you know, they usually live off of fish. L usually live of fish. I guess it was supposed to be off fish. I'm sorry guys, these, these words are like literally that tiny, I can hardly read them. And what they can find is in the forest, but they are internally, they're extremely territorial. So I'm afraid they won't give up their newfound home easily. You would have to carefully go through each room fighting can lighting candles to scare the imps away. And finally make your way to the basement to refuel the generator. With the electricity main f lights back on, the imps will surely leave you and your house in peace. Sincerely, I don't know if that says Mr. or Miss. Postman, P.S. You won't be getting any mail until you've gotten rid of your little infestation. So apparently, Mr. or Miss Postman is racist towards imps. Interesting. Okay, so you just click to light candles. Okay, pretty simple concept. Think I can fend for myself. So, uh, can we open this door? So, uh, hey Dobby. You're just gonna disappear like that? He did kind of look like Dobby. A very demented Dobby. But Dobby nonetheless. Hello, important looking person. Are you Mr. Charles McGuber? Of the Mr. McGuber Magical Doo Doo Imperium? Okay, sure, door just closed right behind me. Because that's not abnormal anyway. Are these Thalers? Am I, am I a rich Sweden? That is, that is the currency in Sweden, right? Oh, hey there, buddy. You want to come out into the light? You know, discuss some... Some demonic business? Some demonic business with your Bosch Beelzebub? Has he gotten that new shipment of souls I sent him from the Mr. McGuber Magical Dildo Emporium? Mm, it's very top secret business. We don't let uh, our satanic finances and, and stock market stuff get out to the public. I'm very secretive. So this is the bedroom where the magic happens, if you know what I mean. So, uh, okay, good, good, dark, this is the staircase. Let's see what's behind this door. Ah, uh, I see you. I see you, come on, out into the light where you're appreciated. Up. Uh, not, not very, oh. Are you back up here somehow? No. That was just reflections on the 
door frame being cast from nowhere. And the lights are magically on. Good. Good. I don't have to walk my fat ass over there and light them myself. Can I open these cupboards? Nope. Can only do one thing, and that is light candles with the matches or and or cigarette lighter that I don't have. Because that makes complete sense. Oh, it sped over the screen. Wait. I know these rugs. This is the same rug texture from Amnesia. You know, Amnesia the Dark said, Go look it up. You'll, you'll totally be scared to know how right I am about how they just reuse that texture. This actually does. These walls do look similar to the ones in Amnesia. Very, very similar indeed. So can I light this candle before I'm, I'm, I'm dead, deadified? Is there a candle in there that I can light? Nope, you're just gonna stand in there. Okay, I'm cool with that. Just do your thing. I'll walk into better lit areas, areas where I'm more appreciated for who I am, a, a lover of the light and of the porn. Okay, look at the, the lovely painting of. Ah, wow. Okay, dissecting babies. Sure, that's. Hmm. I think I'll need to get my key to this door from my bedroom. Thank you, helpful note, which was left here by a stranger who decided to break in and uh, give it to me so that I can think of that. I could I could voice my own thoughts through a word of things and yeah, okay, I can't think that this time of night. I'm sorry, guys. Well, okay. Key, bedroom. Haven't already been to the bedroom? Just gonna... Oh, okay, the chairs move. Chairs physics. Can I pick them up and throw them at the little dudes? I can, wow. Okay, come on chair. I said come on chair. It's not very good, not very good physics. Maybe I'll just click on it once. Not, maybe it's not exactly like it is in Amnesia. So go over here. Nope. Uh, I'm just not even, gonna, not even gonna screw with those things. And that is also a painting from Amnesia. A lot of, I uh, see you in there. Having fun. I know, I know it's hard, but you gotta step out of the closet sometimes. You know, you gotta come out. People will accept you for who you are. Unless you're like me. Who won't accept anyone who, for who they are. Hmm. Let's open up this door. Which was sir got dark in here somehow. I hope somebody doesn't come up behind me and they don't rape me in the darkness. No? Okay, good. Good. I said the key was around here. The key was in the bedroom. Oh, there's the bedroom upstairs. Okay. The dark and, and imp infested one. That bedroom. Okay, the one I feel safest in. Alright, light this candle over here. Light this candle over here. And there's the key. Ah, there it is. Now I can get into my cellar, says the note left by the hobo that's broken into my house that decides to write my th thoughts down on paper because he's psychic like that. Can I, can I go now? Or is something sinister and vile going to happen to me? No? Okay. You still in there? You want to come on out? Wait, I've got an idea. Can I unlight that candle? No? Okay, I was going to... I was going to ambush him. Gonna, gonna troll him so hard, but apparently I can't do that. So, um, off to wherever this is, the basement. Light that candle. There you go, buddy. See, I was just gonna get a little bit adjusted to the light. Cute little guys. I don't know why they're so raw. They're so bad. I mean, they don't seem to be doing anything harmful. I, th I think they're adorable. You know. Just gotta pet him, feed him, scratch him on the chin, feed him a little grain, some Tootsie Rolls, and they'll be your friends, and they'll stop fucking up your generators or whatever. So is this it? Is this what I was trying to do? Look at another portrait of Mr. McGuber. Mmm, business. Oh, more of the same portraits. God damn. Whoever owns this house likes to have two of everything. Mmm. Here's the cellar, can I open that? Okay, it's gonna be completely safe down here in the certainly most bright and colorful and cheery place of the house. 
Okay. Don't see any suspicious orange lights in here, which could be the the, the all-seeing eyes of the imps. Just gonna light this over here. Do I know how to start these things up? Am I that intelligent? I'm gonna find the fuel from the generator. Can I click on this? How about that crank right there? Can I? Can I is it like a jack in the box? Nope. Okay. Go investigate this room. Nope, everything seems ship shape, squeaky clean. Why am I even down here again? He said something about fuel. It looks like everything's alright to me. I'm not a I'm not a freaking technician, so hey, you know, how would I know? Is everything cool now? Do I just go upstairs? Okay, let's just go upstairs. And everything remains normal. How about this chest? Did I already go through that? I, I forgot. Got some creepy ambiance going on around here. Um, yeah, but what about this one? Yep, maybe I was supposed to somehow make that thing disappear. You. It's just me and you now. Maybe I'm supposed to draw them out. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. I know you want some. I know I'm. I know I'm scrumptious. Delish. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I did a flip. I was like, shh, shh. I don't know. Okay. Um. I would normally do more, but as as I don't know what to do, there might be a bug. Maybe that guy was supposed to come out into the light and die or something like that. I don't know. I don't. I didn't see anything else to do. So um, that's my playthrough of this game. If you if if you want me to play more, you tell me what to do with that part. Because right now I don't see any other way to do it, and I don't want to keep referring to the internet in some of these games. So uh, yeah, that was Candlelight. Thanks for watching.